Hey there, my friend, welcome. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at the Fit Father Project. In today's video, we're gonna cover the essential weight loss tips for men over 40. And this is one of our favorite topics here at the Fit Father Project because our team of men's health experts and trainers have helped over 10,000 fathers over 40 lose over 75,000 pounds of fat. So this is a topic that we know a ton about. And the reason I'm so passionate about it is because there's so much BS information online about these kinds of fad diets or these BS workouts. So in today's video, we're gonna cover the fundamentals, the stuff that actually works, the stuff that we've used to help those 10,000 fathers lose the weight. I'm gonna give you some of the core strategies in today's video, and I promise you this, that this stuff actually works. It's not gonna necessarily have all the, uh, the fad, sexy bells and whistles of other stuff, but if you wanna know what works and what you should be implementing into your routine this week, then this is the video that you need to tune in. So grab your pen and paper, take some notes, and let's dive on in. Fitfatherproject.com. All right, so let's get right into it. The number one mistake that guys make when trying to lose weight is they actually focus on diet and exercise first. And I know this may seem counterintuitive because we've been led to believe that those are the most important things for weight loss, but they're actually not. There is one thing that's more foundational and that is your sleep. And what we learned from the research is that if you're missing out on quality sleep, your body is extremely resistant to losing weight. And what the research studies actually show is that if you go on a calorie restricted diet, and it doesn't matter what kind kind of diet that ends up being and you're missing sleep, you do lose weight. But the weight that you do lose comes from muscle tissue, which further decreases your metabolism, making it harder to lose future weight. And this is why it's essential for us to start talking about sleep before we get into the diet and exercise stuff that we will cover in this video for sure. Um, and as a baseline, what we tell all of our Fit Father Project program members is that you need to be getting at least seven hours of quality sleep every night. And if you can reflect in your own life right now and you know you're either one, not getting enough sleep, or two, the quality of sleep is not great, that is the first place place to start and even cleaning up your sleep is going to help prime your body and get those hormones in check that's going to help you lose the weight and actually keep it off. So without getting proper sleep, we're essentially pushing a ball uphill with our weight loss efforts. So that's number one. The second thing is we actually need to talk about your meal plan and notice that I did not say diet because when it comes to weight loss, there is so much buzz out there about different kinds of diets. There's intermittent fasting diets. There's never eat a carb again ketogenic diets. There's vegan diets. Diets, there's paleo diets. And look, people lose weight on all of these diets. They all work because diets that work uh, rely on a set of core foundational principles. One, they help you control your calories and your portions. Two, they're typically, um, for the most part, higher in protein and healthy fats because that keeps you full longer and keeps your energy levels more sustained. And three, if they're a good diet, it enables you to sustain it over the long haul and it's not overly restrictive. So our philosophy here at the Fit Father Project is any diet that is restrictive is not a long-term option. So we like a balanced approach that pulls aspects of all these diets and kind of melds them into one. But the most important thing I wanna leave you with in this video is the importance of getting a schedule based meal plan. So instead of really getting into the minutia right away of looking at the proper number of protein, carbs, and fats, we want to actually look at from a sustainability perspective, from the perspective, how do you actually stick to your diet over the long haul? When should you be eating? And that really the answer to that question is there is no one right answer, but there is a right answer for your schedule. So we need to look at your schedule. Are you the type of guy that gets up early in the morning and you're out the door right away um, for work? Or do you stay at home most of the day and work at home? Because that, the answer to that question is gonna inform the meal timing setup that might be best for you. So here at the Fit Father Project, we have a Fit Father meal plan. And what that includes is five different meal timing setups. And I wanna go through one or two of those here on this video to help give you an idea of which one might fit you well. The first basic one is what we call is the on-the-go meal plan or the four by four meal plan. And this is like the default setup, if you will, for guys who get up out the door early in the morning and go to jobs you know, around eight o'clock in the morning or earlier. And so what this looks like is you get up, the first thing you do is rehydrate your body with 20 to 32 ounces of high quality water. And if you wanna add a little pro tip, we're gonna add a pinch of some pink Himalayan sea salt because that gives your body the trace minerals that it needs to function properly. So we get you rehydrated. We have that first meal somewhere around seven or 8 a.m. Four hours later, and this is why we call it the four by four or the on the go plan, you have lunch around noon. So breakfast at eight, 
lunch around noon, a snack around 3, 3.30, so not quite four hours, but you get the idea, and then dinner around 7.30 or 8. And this is a very, very, very simple and convenient setup. And the reason it works well is you're never starving. You're not going long, long stretches without eating. And a big mistake that a lot of guys make is they have lunch around noon and they don't eat dinner until like seven. And so what happens when you get to dinner? You're freaking starving. And what do you do? You overeat on food, so you eat way too many calories, you have cravings at night, and you blow your diet up. So this is why having a meal roughly every four hours is not necessary, but it's very beneficial. And so a four by four is a great kind of setup. Another one that works really well is an intermittent fasting style setup where you shift that first meal back until let's say 11 o'clock in the morning. You have that next meal around three and you have dinner at seven. There is no right or wrong answer. It's the one that fits your personality and your schedule. You can lose weight on both. Listen, we have program members of the Fit Follow Project. We've helped those 10,000 guys. I showed you some of the pictures. We have guys who've lost 100 pounds with us using intermittent fasting and using eating breakfast every single day. So there's not one right answer. It's what's going to work best for you. And what we have, we put together a free one-day weight loss meal plan for men. Um, and if you're interested in diving deeper on this, because I want to stay big picture and come, cover some of these other topics, if you want the exact recipes we recommend for breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner, I recommend you download that meal plan. There's links below this video. You click that. My team and I, we're going to email that to you. Send it straight to your email. I'm going to be on video and hand you the PDF that walks you through all the recipes and exactly what to eat for breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. Over 100,000 guys have used that, and so I recommend you get a copy of that. Now, the next thing after the meal plan is setting your water target. So just like we're being proactive with the meal timing itself, we want to be proactive with the amount of water that you need because water is foundational for weight loss for so many reasons. One, weight loss requires millions and millions of enzymatic chemical reactions that are happening inside your cells. And guess what? Our cells are made up of 70 plus percent water and they require water for all these reactions. That's why we want to get enough water into the diet. So what I want to help you do in this video is actually calculate your water target for the day. And an easy way to do this is to take your body weight in pounds, divide that number by two, and add 32 to that. And that's the number of ounces of water I'd like you to shoot for per day. So if you're a man that's 200 pounds, we're gonna divide that by two, that's 100, add 32, that's 132 ounces, a little over a gallon. And that's an appreciable amount of water. It's probably more water than you're currently drinking. And I promise you this, when you get the sleep on point, you get on a meal timing setup schedule and you start drinking that amount of water, the weight will start to fall off for a couple of reasons. One, those, those enzymatic reactions and all those chemical reactions are working better. But two, water actually keeps you full and keeps your energy levels higher. So you're not reaching for snacks and feeling like you need to eat different kinds of things. It's, and it's also gonna help keep you full. Water is a signal to your stomach that tells your brain, hey, we're good, we don't need food. So that's a really, really valuable um, strategy when you're looking to lose weight. So let's get the water in your body. And the best way to do that is to get a big water bottle that you carry with you throughout the day. You don't necessarily have to carry on a gallon of water, but you get a nice mason jar or a jar and you fill that up and you drink it three, four times a day and it's sitting on your desk or it's in the car with you, wherever you're at, you see it, you drink, you hit that water target that's gonna help with your weight loss a ton. Now the next thing I wanna talk about is uh, number four on our list is 30 minutes of daily activity. And notice that I did not say exercise. We're gonna talk about exercise in step five with the MRT workouts I recommend. But daily activity is actually more important than exercise for weight loss. Worth repeating. You can lose weight without exercising as long as you're sleeping, drinking the water, and you're actually doing some daily activity. And what the research shows is that our brains have what's called a minimum activity threshold, which is a baseline level of activity that we need to properly regulate our hunger and appetite circuits. If we do not hit that minimum activity threshold, meaning we're sitting in an office cubicle all day, we're not moving, we're not even hitting 30 minutes of daily activity, then our hunger appetite circuits go haywire. And we we start craving all sorts of different foods. Our body becomes more resistant to insulin, which blunts our fat burning. All sorts of bad things happen. Daily activity is the answer for helping improve the functioning of your body. So what I recommend you do is get 30 minutes every day. And the best way to do that in my experience with helping all the guys is to get a step counter on your phone or a little pedometer that you have on your waist, whatever you want to do, and try to get 5,000 to 10,000 steps a day. It's really easy to track. You get the number, you know you want to hit 5,000, and make sure you just get enough walk 
walking accumulated throughout your day where you hit that step target. That's gonna ensure that you hit the daily activity. I need you to tell you, here at the Fit Follow Project, we have thousands of guys in our 20, 50, and 100 pound clubs. That's how much weight they've lost with our program. We have some of those guys that never do the formal workouts. They just walk, follow the meal plan, sleep, and drink the water. You can lose 100 pounds without exercising. It's the truth. And so, this is a very liberating thing to know because if you feel like you're really strapped for time and you can't get into the gym every day, that does not mean you can't see great weight loss results, but you do need the daily activity. Now, once we have these things in place and we have these foundations in place, the next thing we wanna talk about is the types of workouts that do actually work. And there is a type of exercise that works better than others when it comes to losing weight. And the best kind of workout in our experience is called MRT, Metabolic Resistance Training. And this is a combination of the best strength training exercises with cardio exercises all in one. Because yes, we wanna build the muscle and do strength training exercises, why? Because muscles are the basis of your metabolism. When we build muscle, you're burning more calories at rest 24 seven, so we wanna prioritize that. But we also want cardio too, because we wanna burn calories while we're exercising, and even better, we wanna get a metabolism boost after exercise that lasts for up to 24 to 48 hours. So the answer is not to do things separately because I imagine if you're like me, you're busy. You don't have an hour to go do cardio in the morning and then lift weights in the evening. That's just not uh, practical. So let's combine them into short workouts. And the way that works is we're gonna take the best strength training exercises, things like uh, a dumbbell squat, and we're gonna pair that in series with different strength, strength training exercises. So it might be squats, immediately without rest to rows, immediately to shoulder presses, immediately to curls, and, we, and immediately to push-ups. So we'll do some kind of circuit workout. And we have a full circuit workout called the 24-minute metabolism boosting workout that again, just like that free meal plan, I wanna email you, where I'm on video actually demoing this exact workout. The best part is all it requires is a pair of dumbbells or kettlebells around 10 feet of floor space in 24 minutes. So these workouts are very efficient, and here's the secret because they help you build the muscle and boost your metabolism, we wanna sprinkle these workouts throughout the week, three to four. So an ideal setup would be a Monday, Wednesday, Friday of these MRT workouts, because on Monday, we do the workout, we get this metabolism boost through Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, we do another workout, we get the metabolism boost. And then on Friday, we get the metabolism boost again. So your metabolism is constantly elevated and you're burning calories after you work out and you're putting on muscle because you're doing the strength training exercises. So that is the best of both worlds. And it's a way to save so much time so you don't have to go slave away on cardio machines hoping to burn some calories. That is not the answer. MRT workouts, which are very similar if you've heard the word HIT, high intensity interval training, they're basically like HIT workouts with weights, which is the answer for the most effective stuff. So again, we have a free resource for you. It's that free 24 minute fat burning workout. I'm gonna show you how you can do this with a pair of dumbbells. And over 100,000 guys have already downloaded and using this workout. And I recommend you get a copy of that. We'll send it to your email. You can start doing that this week and you're gonna see great results. Really, really good stuff. Now the final thing, once we've gone through all this framework here, is to talk about some supplementation. And I put this last intentionally because supplements when it comes to weight loss are supplemental. After you need all these foundations in place or no fat burner supplement is actually gonna work for you. And here's the real kicker. The supplements that are best for weight loss are not actually marketed as weight loss supplements. You've probably seen all sorts of fat burner pills and stuff like that, that's not where we start. The supplements that are foundational for weight loss are actually the core things that help your body function better. Number one is a quality multivitamin. Because as we alluded to, especially when talking about the water, there are millions of different chemical reactions that are needed to burn fat. So we wanna make sure that your body has all the micronutrients, those vitamins and minerals it needs to carry out those chemical reactions. And so by getting a quality multivitamin, we've covered the bases of all those micronutrients and your body has what it needs. So a quality multi. Number two, fish oil, amazing, those omega-3s. What the research shows is that as we're obese and when we wanna go down to start losing the weight, fish oil helps change the fat composition of our cells. It makes the cells more fluid and actually enables them to burn fat better. And not only to mention, the fish oil also helps with your joints, helps improve your memory, helps improve your heart health, can also contribute to gaining lean muscle mass. It's an amazing supplement. It also reduces inflammation and the risk of all sorts of diseases. So another staple supplement is the fish oil. And then the next staple supplement we recommend is a quality 
probiotic. These are those good gut bacteria that live throughout our entire digestive tract that help us digest our food, and the new research shows actually helps us lose weight. So here's the, here's the really fascinating thing. When you're overweight, you have a different flora, which means the composition of those gut bacteria, than when you lose the weight. Lean people have different gut bacteria compositions than overweight people. And so we want to start changing your gut microbacteria to move it towards the composition that lean people have. So supplementing probiotics can help make that transition. And to really drive this point home with some research, they are now doing things called fecal transplants, where they're taking poop from lean people, transplanting that poop into overweight people, and the overweight people start to lose weight because they get those good gut bacteria in. And all the foods they subsequently eat are metabolized better, and those gut bacteria are sending signals to the brain to say, hey, we're good, let's start burning more fat, getting rid of the weight. Gut bacteria are hugely important, that's why they're a staple supplement. So once we get those core four supplements in place, then we can talk about some of the classic fat burners, if you will, stuff like green tea, highly recommended. Stuff like good old fashioned black coffee, a great metabolism booster. These things can work, but I want you to get the foundational stuff in place. And I don't wanna go deep dive on the supplements here at the risk of making this video super long. We cover all that in our FitFollower 30X program. We give you the full supplement protocol. It's really affordable and it will really help accelerate your results once you get these foundations in place. And there are links below if you're like, man, this stuff sounds interesting, but I just want the exact step-by-step -step battle plan. Then FitFollower 30X program, the program that's led to all those before and after images you see on this video, that's what you wanna check out. There's links below in the description. So I hope this helped give you at least a big picture of what you need to focus on. And we wrote these out in order of priority. Start here, work your way down this list, do a little audit as you're looking at this video. It's like, okay, check, I got that in place. If you don't know when your meal should be and you don't have set meal timing in stone, start there. If you're not getting in the water, do that next. We, our team here at the Fit Follow Project, will help walk you through every step of this weight loss journey. Whether you need to lose 15 pounds or 150 pounds, we help thousands of guys do that every year. So if you wanna go deeper with us, the best way is to get that free meal plan, get that free workout, or jump straight into our 30-day program. There's links all over this video where you can go deeper with us, and we are happy you found this video. I hope you got at least one or two good key strategies, and I wanna leave you with a message of hope. It is not only possible to lose the weight and keep it off, there is a proven path, but you need to you know, really put aside all the fad diets and BS and focus on the fundamentals that actually work. This is the stuff that gets the weight off and keeps the weight off. I hope you found this valuable. Thank you for being here with me on this video. If you like this and you want more content, Content, then hit the subscribe button and check that little notification bell to get notified when we post new videos. We post a video almost every single day to our Fit Follower Project YouTube channel on weight loss nutrition, weight loss exercises, supplementation, mindset, all your different health FAQs, the stuff you need to know to stay strong, lean, and healthy for yourself and your family. We're the Fit Follower Project. This is what we do. Thanks for stopping by, my friend. Check out those free resources. I will see you uh, when you download those on the video, and I'll talk to you very soon, my friend.